Hello and welcome to another Dagu video. My name is Bernardo Bezerra and I am a developer advocate for Alexa. On today's video, I'll talk to you about account linking and how to add it to your custom skills. But first, let's talk a little bit about account linking. Account linking is a feature that allows you to take advantage of a previous existing database of information. Let's say you have a full delivery service and you already have a database containing user information such as payment preferences, uh, favorite foods, delivery addresses, and so on. With account linking, you can take advantage of this pre-existing information in your skill. So whenever a user is using the skill to order food, you can prompt them if they want to uh, order their favorite food. Um, you don't need to prompt them for the delivery addresses because this information is already in your database. On this video, I'll be using Login with Amazon or LWA as our OAuth server and uh, that means that I will have access to information such as the user email address. Um, if you're using a different OAuth service you might be have access to different information or you can even customize um, your the information that you can retrieve such as addresses and the payment information. Now let's take a look on how to do it in your skill. So as you can see here, um, I am on the developer console, right? Um, so let's create a custom skill. So we're going, let's set up to US. So let's call our first skill account linking custom, just to differentiate. Uh, we're going to use English US custom skill and uh, Alexa host Node.js. So Let's create a skill and wait for it. Hello world, it's gonna work just fine for us. And okay, our skill has been created. Um, invocation name, let's change to account linking custom. Let's uh, go ahead and build this model. Um, the, then let's go to account linking. For custom skills, um, we have the option here to uh, allow users to create an account or link in an existing account with us. Um, we are going to set the allow users to use enable skill, allow users to enable skill without account linking, because I want to show um, what differences you can see in your backend if a developer has linked their account or not. Okay, in the meantime, our model has been built successfully. Okay, so a couple of things that uh, we are going to need here for the configuration. We're going to be using Login with Amazon, which is an in-house solution that already can be used for account linking. For that, we need to add the web authorization URI and access token URI. So here we have the authorization URI and the access token URI. Both of these can be found in the documentation that's going to be linked on the video description. So you can find it later on as well. Um, we also need to provide the client ID and the secret. So this client ID and secret um, is the information that's going to link our skill with the login with Amazon profile, security profile that we are going to be creating. So to access your login with Amazon dashboard, you need to click here on your avatar and then click on settings. You're going to be, a new tab is going to be open. Then we click on login with Amazon over here. So uh, I haven't set up a login with Amazon yet. So let's create a new security profile by clicking here. Um, then the security profile name, let's call it account linking tutorial uh, description profile for the account linking tutorial. Um, as a consent privacy notice URL, we can, since this is going to be just for testing, you can just uh, enter. Um, a random URL here, um, but if you're going to do this in production, you have to provide an actual um, content, uh, constant privacy here. So we save it, and there it is. We have 
our security profile name. Here we have the account linking tutorial, uh, the name of the tutorial of the account link profile. We have the credentials, the client ID and client secret. We need to do some additional configurations here. So if you click on the cog and then web settings, which are the settings that we're going to be using for our account linking. Here again, we have the client ID and the client secret. We need to add the allowed origins to so that once the account linking, once the user is authenticated against login with Amazon, then they are going to be redirected to another uh, URL. So if you check, if you go back to the developer console on the account linking setup configurations, you can see that you have the Alexa redirect URLs here. So you have all these three. They are going to be used depending on the region of your users. So we're going to add this one here. Another one here. So we're just going to add all three of them just to be sure. Okay. So one of them is if your users are from the Americas, the other one is if they are from Europe and another one for the Far East. So this is why you have the three of them. Just to be on the safe side, we're just gonna add the three of them. And then we save. All right. So now, as I mentioned, we're going to get the client ID, add it here. Now the client secret. Just copy this guy here and add it here. Um, the authentication scheme we're going to keep as a HTTP basic. Uh, for scope, we're going to add profile. So scope is what information you're going to make available for the skill. For login with Amazon, um, there are three different options. Um, we will be going with the profile one that's going to give us uh, the user ID username and uh, user email okay so that's that um, there's no need to set uh, uh, an expiration time so let's save it all right changes have been saved okay so now we can so here's the code right i'm going to add a couple of lines here on the builder just so that we can log the requests and responses they um, get sent back and forth. So this one here. So what these lines of code do is they add a, a request interceptor that uh, is going to log all the requests that came through our backend and uh, also response interceptors that's going to log every response that our, our backend set, sends back to Alexa. So let's save and deploy. All right. So now let's open the test console on a new tab here because we're going to be needing to go back there. I'm not going to be using my mic for this. Enable testing. So if I invoke our skill here, account linking custom so we launch the skill so this is the information that gets sent to our endpoint this is the information that we send back okay so now let's stop this interaction just close the session all right so now we're going to do the account linking so if you open here the Alexa portal you can also do it over the the app if you prefer so we'll go to your skills dev skill here we have our dev skill account linking custom go into settings link account a new tab should show up then you enter your username and your password here boom account link custom has been successfully linked okay so right now the, the user has linked their account, right? So if they launch the skill again, so account linking custom. So 
So welcome, if you're saying hello, help, which we'd like to try. As you can see, it's the same information here. But if you take a closer look here at the request, you can see that there's now a new information here. It's called access token. And it's this big string of random letters and numbers. If we compare with the first one before linking the account, you can see that you didn't have that access token. So you just have the user and user ID. Checking this one now on line 11, you have the user ID and the access token. So this means that the account has been successfully linked. Great, you have an access token. How can make use of that? So if you go back here to our code, we're going to change it a little bit to make use of that access token that we received to retrieve the username from, from logging with Amazon. So there's a couple of changes that we need to do to our code. So if we copy this bit here, right, so let's just make sure that it's, it looks nice. All right, so, okay. So this here, we can remove this line because now we have the speak output here. So, okay. There's also a new function here called get user info. So if we go here and copy this function, this bit of code here, All right, so a couple of things, because here, because we're making an external API call, we need, and we're using Node.js, we need to use the await keyword here, as you can see the await keyword, which means that this function here, the handle needs to be declared as async. Another thing um, we need to, I'm going to use the HTTPS package from note. So there you go. I know there are a couple of others. I'm using the HTTPS because there's no need for any external um, dependency. Um, you can use, of course, any package that you feel more comfortable using. I just want to make things simple here and uh, no, no, there's no need to go into how to add external dependencies to your package and all that. All right, so let's take a look at what's happening here. I'm retrieving the access token from the handler input request envelope session user, getting the access token. If the access token is not undefined, then I'm getting the user information with the access token. So this function here, get user information, receives the access token. It returns a new promise, which is it, we, it returns a new promise after it does a get to the API amazon.com slash user slash profile using the access token as authorization header. It sends and then it writes back to, it writes back a JSON with the information here. I'm logging it, I'm going to show you how it looks like. Then we're retrieving the name from this information. And then here, Alexa will reply with welcome name. You can say hello or help, right? That looks great. So let's deploy it. All right, it has been deployed. Now let's test it again. So first let me close the other session that was still open. Okay, so now because I have linked to the account, we expect Alexa to reply with my name. So account with account linking custom. Welcome Bernardo, you can say hello or help, which would like to try. So that's good. So it retrieves my name from logging with Amazon, right? So let's try something different. Let's try now without the account linking. So let's unlink the account. To do that, we disable the skill and enable it again. All right. Now let's test it again. So account linking custom. Welcome. You can say hello or help. As you can see, it doesn't call me by name because I haven't linked the account. You can see here as well that there's no uh, information about the access token. 
Now, if we go and check our logs, remember that I asked to log the information that's getting back. Right, so here, this is the most recent one. You can see here, here's the information. So we get the, so using the access token in a request, so this information here, I was able to retrieve my user ID, my username, and my email. So there you go. So that was it. In summary, we've seen how you can configure account linking in your skill, how you can retrieve the access token for the incoming request, and how you can use that access token to retrieve information for your user. I hope you enjoyed it. Join me on my next video where I'm going to go into how to add account linking to smart home skills and then authenticating with the Alexa service. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell icon so you receive notifications when new videos come out. Have a good one, everyone.